So Craig Willie Searle is a traditional jig and it accompanies the end of the Manx Mummers play which is played at Christmas. It's in 6-8 so don't worry too much about counting in sixes but just be aware of two kind of groups of three dum da dum da dum da dum da all the way through and when you look at the first bar You've not got too many difficulties, it is, you're just holding down your first finger on an A and the third finger is going over to this F sharp like this. But when you get to bar three, you've got to move over to have your second finger on the G on string six fret three. Now you notice that these aren't the normal ways of holding down the chords. You've moved up the fretboard by one fret. You're now in what we call second position because the notes in this tune are more or less all around this area of the guitar from second to fifth fret. So just move your hand up from where it normally lives by one fret. So you're in second position. So looking on to the fifth, six bars, not too bad, kind of repetition of what you've just done. But when you get to bar seven, there's quite an awkward move, which I'll run through with you. This is bar six. And then you've got to really quickly get your first and second fingers down on string five, and string one at the same time. So just practice that move. Again. In context from bar five, I'll play like this. And then moving on to the second section, which starts in bar 10, hold down a little bit of a D chord. A lot of these tunes are based on chords, so that's a full D chord. Just take your first finger off and have it hanging in the air because you're going to need it in the bar after. So you start off, this is bar 10. Now put your first finger down on string 5 fret 2, which is a B, and play string 5 and string 1 together. Then have your little finger playing the G which comes after that. So put it into context, it's like this. Again. So that was bars 10 and 11. Bar 12 has you moving right up to 5th uh, fret, use your 4th finger for that, and it goes like this. The bass notes might sound a bit strange, but when it's played up to speed, it all works. I'll play the whole line, then you get the idea. Looking on to the next line is pretty much the same kind of thing, so there's nothing new to demonstrate there. That's really most of the difficulties covered. Let's try and run through at kind of half speed, just so that you can keep up. Back to the beginning. section repeating back <laughs> 